have two agreements with the Americans in terms of defense cooperation. One was signed on the 24th of February 1998. The other was signed in April 2015 by our then foreign minister. And that the agreement I saw did not make the idea of consulting Ghanaian authorities in giving out orders as part of that agreement. For example, in the original agreement, it was there that if you have a gun, you can carry a gun if given out by your orders. And that is what is captured in the, in the 1998 agreement. That once they give out orders, they can carry a gun. I insisted that no, you have to consult the appropriate Ghanaian authorities, which in this case is not my ministry, but the interior ministry. Because the interior ministry is the one that gives a license for you to carry a sidearm in Ghana. That is a major departure from what was placed in front of me. Two, that in the issue of a license, when you have a license to drive, you must consult the appropriate Ghanaian authorities. In this case, Ministry of Transport, DVLA, is not my ministry. So what I'm trying to say is that the issue of tax exemptions, you needed to consult the appropriate Ghanaian authority, Parliament and Ministry of Finance. So in all that I sought to do was to ensure that the Americans consulted the appropriate Ghanaian authorities that did not find its reflection in the original agreement. And the original agreement is not just this one, but the draft that they brought to my office. And the draft of the, that one was based on this agreement and the agreement, 1998 agreement and the agreement that Honorable Hannah Tete signed in Stuttgart, Germany. We had to clean it up to allow the Ghanaian authorities to have a say in what happens when the Americans are operating. That's the difference. Between the two governments, who is more responsible? Absolutely. The one that is taking it to Parliament for all of us to know that we have these agreements or the one that is secretly did it? I leave it to the people of Ghana to judge. And I want the, the security experts to have every side of the picture before commenting. They don't have these documents. I believe so. The majority of them don't even know that these documents exist. Then people will just wake up. They don't know the two sides of the coin. They look at one side, they start commenting. Now, today, I am saying to you that get these documents and read them and ask questions why Hanateka signed this without bringing it to the people of Ghana. It's like give more two. At the blind side of the people of Ghana, why do you go to sign? And the Americans base their preamble on this document that you have signed with us, so we are bringing a, a different agreement. Because in this case, you went and signed this in the dark. No, the people of Ghana didn't know that you signed that if, like Kosi Prada has been saying, if a Ghanaian soldier dies, you cannot hold an American. It is there. That Kosi Prada, it is already there. In 1998, we signed it. You can, if anybody has a friend, can go and give to him. We signed it. It's already working. It's not a new thing. The duties, we signed it in 98. It's already there. You cannot take him to court. It's already there. Driving license is already there. Bringing ID cards is already there. So let all of them know that all the things they are shouting about are already in the agreement that we agreed in 1998. Then Anateta also secretly went and signed another agreement in 2015. And based on that, the U.S. are saying, we put the two together, and you, this is the agreement, so officially sign it for us. If you are in my shoe, what do you do? You do what I have done. Clean it up, take it to Parliament, and if Parliament so thinks that it is a good agreement, we we'll go with it. I haven't signed any agreement yet. I was telling the MPs today that conventionally we should we have signed the agreement and taken it to Parliament, but this time we refused. Rather than try to chastise us as if, oh, we are so Ghana, we haven't so Ghana, they are they so Ghana. They are the people who sold Ghana in the dark. Who could have gone the route they went? Who could have done it? Two years ago, Hanatete sold us. That's what they did. Not us. 98, they sold us. Not us. At least, we are letting the people of Ghana know what is in there for them. That's the difference between us.